November is current. Gentlemen, welcome back here in our briefing room. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the first mission of the Falcon 4 Allied Force competition. Do you like it? Yes. 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 Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, as uh, usual, we will start with a debriefing for the first mission. And um, yes, um, the flight data recorder works very well, and uh, we have a lot of events uh, we should talk about. And um, Yes, let's see what happened. So first, we are in peacetime, so don't shoot at any friendly aircraft before or during an air show. <laughs> yeah. Although there's a MiG-29 and it appears on your other we are, check if it's friendly or not. So, um, yeah. Okay, next is uh, saving fuel, so uh, try to take off without military power. You can uh, save fuel there. You don't use the afterburner if your tanks are almost empty. I saw some guys doing the dogfight and uh, pushing, pushing, and they said don't uh, have a look on their uh, fuel meter. And uh, yes, you don't need four heavy Mark IV 84s to destroy one ship. So a good decision was to uh, drop the mid the center line tank and to drop uh, 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 two to three Mark 84s. Then you have less weight and you save fuel. The audience. Very realistic decision. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have money for it, enough fuel, but yeah. we can drop the bombs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, next is uh, timing. This uh, mission uh, timing uh, was really important as it's in real life. Um, and uh, also the rights have come up here. <laughs> and, uh, please uh, tell me what happened. Ah, okay, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was number three in our four-ship flight, and one and took uh, one and two took off very well. ATC uh, gave them clearance. Um, I was in position. ATC gave me clearance. I went into an afterburner and didn't take a look to the left and the right because I'm on the active runway and I have clearance, so I'm ich habe Vorfahrt. <laughs> okay. And, uh, so the Slovenian E8 uh, hit me from the right. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, lesson learned. What lesson learned? Yeah, take a look at the left and fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, yes, um, you guys set me under pressure. Uh, you want to have uh, the right answers uh, for the test we did, and cool. Uh, <laughs> Yes, uh, I have, now I finished uh, all the results and um, yes, uh, we have some achievements uh, for the first three places. Uh, the pilots who did the really right answers uh, during this test. And uh, I want uh, to come up um, and please clap your hands together for Lucas from Poland. From the Lucas? <laughs> okay, I give it to you. It's uh, for the for the third, third place. Congratulations. Okay, second is uh, Yoda from Sweden. And uh, one guy who really read the menu <laughs> is uh, Cuba from Poland. So team well. Please come forward. Okay, make it like this. Congratulations. <laughs> your results and here are the top 10 <laughs> of the, the top 10. 
of the theoretical um, test. So, um, to, to talk about the scoring uh, for the test, um, if a team uh, did really good, they will uh, earn so much points that uh, in one mission um, they can lose one jet or can shoot one um, blue jet. No, not blue jet, but. But uh, to to to, no, to to show you how much points you get. So um, yes, I think uh, the squadron 13 world um, really did a good job. So we have. Uh... Yeah. Hello, everybody. Uh, we have a situation. <laughs> I'll uh, listen up. I'll keep it very short because um, Nick is. Um, I first very good at doing all this stuff. I'm gonna have a seat somewhere there. Um, but you've had your uh, first uh, TE and the debrief of the TE. So um, Nick is gonna tell you about what's happening because we are in trouble. <laughs> okay, yeah. so uh, stay focused. Okay, so uh, this was a real surprise, and I am now the next surprise. <laughs> okay, um, let's start with a briefing for mission number two. Yes, gentlemen, um, it's time to put the gloves down. The situation in Korea has reached a critical level. Both the Department of Defense and the Department of State have looked for the best pilots available to fly a secret mission deep into enemy territory. And guess what? They choose you. Yeah, and within the next 30 minutes, you will aboard a C-17 to Seosan Air Base, North, uh, South Korea, and uh, you will brief during your flight. Dismissed. Stay here. Next. Okay. <laughs> Situation report mm -hmm. on a C-17 to CO sign. <laughs> Since 1953, there was peace between North and South Korea. In 2009, North Korea even transformed to a democracy with free elections. Despite international and NATO effort, the Panyong region remained under dictatorship from General Ho Wei To. Recent developments in this region have raised serious concern for the stability of the peace treaty. NATO and North Korean government have decided to act now to prevent a possible crisis. About seven hours ago, we lost one of our best pilots. Major Wong Li was on a secret mission over the Korea Bay near to the Chinese border. He was flying the latest version of the F-22. We should fly together as a force. Okay. Yeah? But uh, if anything goes wrong, our government... <laughs> Okay? Yeah. Can you give a position report on the Varjak? I mean, this is a big ship, maybe you can cut some of that later. If you find it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Okay. So, um, as Uden would say, that's the end of the briefing. Good luck and stay alive. <laughs>